Good morning. It's another day in paradise. Welcome to the eighth wonder of the world. Uh, you are inside my Robin Hood portfolio. And today's episode is going to be one new mining stock added to my 13,000 Robin Hood portfolio, which is New Crest Mining. So before I uh, show you guys uh, my newest addition to my portfolio, uh, pretty much a rundown on what the market's looking like for today. Um, pretty much the type of investor I am, I look at the, uh, I'm a long-term investor, so I go straight to all, the, the live, the one day, the one week, the one month, the three month, the one year. I pretty much, I don't touch none of those. I just go to whatever max they got. So pretty much the max on here is, as you can see, um, I started investing on the 5th of January 2018 um, as, as of now. So as you can see, I hit pretty much two dips. And this is the highest point that I've ever gotten. So uh, 9.7. Seven zero, so pretty much we're in uh, bear market. Um, I'm currently at six point eighteen percent, which is seven hundred and forty forty six dollars. Uh, I'm at my portfolio total is twelve thousand eight hundred thirty one. Um, let's take a look at how I organize my stocks. Currently, I have one hundred fifty nine assets, or one hundred and sixty assets. I just bought a new, uh, just added a, a satellite company. Uh, so I got to change that. 160 assets under management and six cryptocurrencies. Uh, tomorrow I'll be doing uh, cryptos. But today is uh, stocks, ETFs, and REITs. So pretty much the way I got it organized, as you can see, the DIA, um, these are all monthly paying dividends. So from, and this is the highest uh, monthly paying dividends that I my, that my portfolio owns um, so as you can see the uh, these are all monthly paying dividends all the way to this is my newest addition my new my newest mining stock added which is Newcrest mining and then these are new new uh, new additions from from new Newcrest mining this is a new addition these are all new additions all the way down to this one right here, the 31 cents. And then from Google, all the way down, it's it's all, um, the way I organize it is from highest valuation company to lowest. So as you can see, a thousand is pretty much the only company that I own with a thousand. And then it drops down to 300, then down to 200 range, 180, 70, so forth. So you get the picture. Um, and it goes all the way down to forty-five cents. So, yeah, that right there. Um, sometimes with Robinhood, like they it, they mix it up. So, uh, what I do daily is is I just uh, put them put the uh, companies in numeric order. So. Um, I do that daily. Yeah, like Robinhood, when you organize it, um, it's iffy. But I still, I go with what I got. But the way I really organize my um, information is with uh, TradeBase. So it's an application. I'll probably do a video on that, on TradeBase. Uh, he, here are my six cryptocurrencies that I own. Uh, two that I own fully. And then the re these four I own fractional, fractional shares. So... So I got that. My watch list. Okay, this is interesting. I'm gonna go just go through it real quick. Um, as you can see, the uh, EPR right here, 76. These are all monthly paying dividends. So all the way from 76, all the way down to pretty much PSEC. These are all monthly paying dividends that are on the watch list. And then from there, uh, companies that um, that I plan on purchasing. 
and Berkshire uh, Hathaway Class A, as you can see, just for one share is 300,000. 300, so, and it goes all, and then this is ranges from 3,000, 300,000 all the way, as you can see, 800, 700. And these are just one share for uh, these, these companies. Oh, I said I see. Um, so, let me see. So, this is pretty much my watch list. Yeah. It's hectic. <laughs> um, let's jump into it. So, my newest edition, New Crest Mining. So, let me kick, kick back on that. New Crest Mining. So, I'm going to jump into New Crest Mining. Shrink me down some. So what I do, I go directly to the five year. I look at the trend. So I pretty much I caught I bought at uh I bought in at twenty dollars. The current market price is twenty six dollars and nineteen cents. Seventeen percent of analysts agreed that Newcrest mining is a buy. 47 people on Newcrest Mining. Uh, 47 people own Newcrest Mining on Robinhood, so I'm part of that 47. Um, a little okay. Before I jump into you know the uh, the the about like what the company is about. This my strategy on purchasing because um, pretty much I'm an explorer. Um, this is I pretty much turn this into a hobby because I'm getting into real estate um, because it's just slow like before when I got into it I was just thinking that um, that I'll be able to pick up that I'll be able to make money fast but it's just this is a, a, like years and years of building so I really much this is pretty much it's turning into a hobby so you know probably in the future that um, I'll make real good money off of this but as of now it's you know i'm just being real with myself but i just like to me it just i feel like i just like collecting companies you know stocks etfs and reits and just watch it grow you know from there and then once i have pretty much learned about the entire global stock market then i'll start doubling up you know once i get that experience but and that's how i'm playing i'm playing it different from how everybody else is investing and this is just this is my journey um, as I'm learning, I'm adding daily. Um, in this process, also, I'm building my uh, my own index fund, which is called DNA Level C 1978. So that'll be um, I'll pass that down to my kids, so they'll have something to work on, keep them uh, occupied. And I just wish, like, I had my parents would have left me something, you know. Well, I didn't really have a father, so. And I had a mother that, um, I mean, she could, you know, it was me and four sisters. But, you know, it kind of, it was hectic. Uh, that's I'll say that for another video. Um, but pretty much my strategy on the mining companies, um, I really have a passion for it because I, I look, I, if I can buy all the mining companies in the world, I just look at that in the future. I'm just looking decades in in the in the future. I'm playing that game, not like momentarily 10 year 10 years, 20 years. I'm looking for companies and stocks, ETFs and REITs that are going to go reap all the way to the end of time. So, um my thing with mining companies, I think they're going to be lucrative, like a lot of people are sleeping on it, but as of one, they they pretty much they give us our um Precious metals, um, pretty much elements that that we use on the on a day to day basis, and I just see us in the future um, exploring other planets, asteroids, being it, space explorers, and once we start to get colonizing these in these um, other planets, I just see these companies they're going to be first dibs because they already have the experience here here on Earth. So my thing is, okay, let me start own, let me own these companies, and set my kids up for the future. You know, get them to understand, like, yo, why did, what, you know, why did he purchase, 
why did I purchase these companies? Well, I'm thinking way ahead where these companies, once I, once I have them, I'm holding them. And I just believe like once we start like space exploration, these companies are going to be hotcakes. There's just going to be something like nobody really talks about, but I'm just thinking more into the future. Um, that these companies will pretty much, um, nobody's thinking on that realm. You know, people, I know there's investors that's thinking, like, let me just get money out of it and that quick. And I was on that for, for a minute. And, but I just had to change my ways. Cause I was like, I was, I was feeling stressed out. You know, um, I'm looking at, I'm looking at this like a, a new adventure, like new exploration. I'm an explorer by, by nature. So I like exploring things new, anything new. So me getting into the market was like something new, new and scary. But, um, you know, once I got into it, I was I started to really get I really started to feel the passion for the the new the companies that people don't talk about. So the companies that people don't talk about, um, that that's pretty much where where I come in. At. And um, I just see like just investing in the entire stock market. You're going to win. Because the, uh, the idea, I read this book called, uh, well, Robert Kiyosaki, uh, pretty, I think he's one of my favorite authors. He's the one that broke my mind with Rich Dad, Poor Dad book. Um, he's got a book out called Fake. It's like 49 pages, real short. I've read it. Um, and he talks, something that caught, caught my attention. I'm going to talk about this on Investor's Mindset on Tuesday, Tuesdays and Thursday. So whatever, um. Uh, because I got a couple topics for investors' mindset, but he talks about he says that there today there are three types of modern money, and then he said the first one is called God's money. God's money is made up of gold and silver, which are pretty much your precious metals. And then he said, and then he uh, lists number two as the government's money, um, which are dollars, euros, pesos, credit etc so i thought that was interesting and then the last the third type of modern money is it's the newest the newest one is called the peop, uh people's money which consists of bitcoin ethereum zipcoin all, all your cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology so i thought that was interesting so i'm pretty much i'm putting i'm piecing things together um um, I, I got a life portfolio that I'm that I'm putting together. So um, off off the eighth wonder of the world, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys my my strategy on my life portfolio, which consists of pretty much cash and credit. Get once you get cash and credit with your cash and credit, that's where you buy your your other your um, pretty much I call them the five. The five sectors of life, pretty much. Okay, cash and credit is is at the top. Play with those two. No, master those two. Then once you get those, get cash and credit. Then your cash and credit buys uh, precious metals. Your God's money. It buys uh, your government money, which are your dollars, euros, pesos. That goes along with number one. And then you have your people's money, which is cryptos. So pretty much do what um, I have. Four sectors under the cash and credit, which are, um, and let me pull this up real quick, off the top of my head, because it was this is something that I'm developing. Um, it's yeah, I called it my life portfolio, uh, 2019. So my life portfolio 2019. So pretty much. You know, at the top is cash and credit, um, real estate, business. So I'm getting into business, which is logistics. Um, I'm gonna start start out small with pretty much uh, me being in the military. I was uh, a supply. I was a supply sergeant in the army. So pretty much with logistics, I know how to run logistics. Like I I dealt with like transportation, ammunition, weapons, food office supplies you name it i was on it so the the mili the u.s army taught me all all this logistics so i want to get into a uh, a business with logistics because i pretty much i know it in and out um i still got to break in i'm still saving up for that so precious metals i'm already 
uh, investing in silver and platinum because that's pretty much on the lower spectrum. Like uh, gold and palladium, they're up there. I think it's like 1400 1500 To me, it's just too expensive and it's out of my price range. So I stick with uh, silver and platinum. So that's where I'm at. I'm at uh, investing in one kilo of silver. One kilo is equal to th th 35 ounces, but on Apex, I'll talk about uh, buying physical precious metals on Sunday. Uh, so I'm pretty much in the uh, buying ki uh, one kilo of silver and then one troy ounce of platinum. And then fourth is stocks and cryptos. Uh, pretty much with that, I'm playing the rule of 72. As I'm showing you guys, this is just part of my life portfolio, part of the eighth wonder of the world. And then lastly is uh, I'm a filmmaker. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a student at the Academy of Art University. So I'm playing the... Um, learning how to be a pretty much a film director and with youtube that i'm teaching myself everything how to set up the camera the lighting um editing uh script you name it i'm doing it so you know just to get get practice because i start class on the 5th of september so i'll be in uh san francisco then i gotta see if you know i'm able to enter in the program you know that's another thing because i'm out in oakland and uh, there's a voc rehab rehabilitation building or office out there and I'm switch I'm switching um, counselors so the other counselor I had she was cool but you know sometimes you got to fight you know you got to let people know like no nah, it's time it's time for a change so I just let her know like you know deuces you know I'm trying to get mine you're you're in the way of my of my flow so I got a family to support and it just felt like you know we was just bumping heads and nothing was getting done so that's where I'm at with that so Newcrest mining Newcrest mining engages in the exploration development and operations of mines it operates through the following segments Kadia Telfet Lahir Gozo Wong Bonikiro Hidden Valley and Exploration and Others. The company was founded in 1990 and is headquartered in Melbourne, Australia. The current CEO is Sandeep Biswas, employees not listed. Headquarters, Melbourne, Australia, founded in 1990. Market cap, 20.27 billion. Uh, PE ratio, 59.61. Dividend yield, 1.01. One. Buy, 17%. Hold, 25%. Sell, 58% so I mean even though I see that sale is real high I, I, I'm looking I'm looking for the future like what what it's gonna the expertise of this company that's how I look at things um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit more information from Wikipedia Newcrest Mining Newcrest Mining Limited is an Australian based corporation which engages in the exploration, development, mining, and sale of gold and gold copper concentrate. It is Australia's leading gold mining company and its operations have expanded beyond Australia. For example, Indonesia. Thus becoming a prominent international mining corporation, Newmont Mining Corporation initially started the company as a subsidiary in 1966. The subsidiary subsidiary became Newmont's holding PTY LTD in 1980 and in 1990 acquired 100 percent of Aust Austria men holdings LTE taking the current name Newcrest primary gold and copper production in Australia is at Ridgeway Cadia Valley operations the second Australian operation being the Telfer mine in the Pilbara region in Western Australia Newcrest also operates two mines in Papua New Guinea, Lihir, and Hidden Valley, and one in, and one each in Ivory Coast, Bo Nicro, and Indo Indonesia, Gosowong. Past and present exploration was done in the America, Americas, Asia, and Europe. In April 2010, Newcrest announced it was in merger talks with Lihir Gold, a move that would create the world's fifth largest gold producer with a combined production of 2.8 million ounces of gold in 2009. In August 2010, the deal was approved by Lihir 
shareholders 99.86 percent and by the end of the month by the national court uh papa new guinea png clearing the way for the deal under the deal worth us 9.45 billion newcrest will give lee here shareholders 0 0.12 newcrest shares plus point two two five per Lee Hair share. As of twenty fifteen, Newcrest was the world's sixth largest producer of gold. So um if you want to check out more they got the background in industry development uh operations. So I mean that's pretty much a little uh my take on Newcrest mining. So I mean, yes, yeah, a little far fetched a lot of for a lot of people, but my thing is you have to learn it to believe in yourself and know, okay, this is gonna this is gonna work for me. So um, that's my strategy on pretty much building my portfolio up. So that's it. That concludes this episode of one new mining stock added to my thirteen thousand Robinhood portfolio. New Crest Mining. Until tomorrow. Tomorrow, cryptos. Remember, that's people's money. Robert Kiyosaki. Fake. Peace.